Reconciliation is a crucial process for healing and restoring relationships that have faced strain or brokenness. It is about seeking forgiveness, extending grace, and working together to rebuild trust and harmony. When your relationship feels off, reconciliation becomes essential to restore the connection and move forward healthily. Reconciliation begins with acknowledging the presence of conflict or hurt within the relationship. It takes humility to recognize our contributions to the breakdown and take responsibility for our actions. It also means extending forgiveness to our partner and being willing to let go of grudges and past hurts. Forgiveness plays a vital role in reconciliation. It's not about excusing or condoning the wrong actions, but it's about releasing the burden of anger, resentment, and bitterness. Forgiveness acknowledges the fact that we all make mistakes and opens the door for healing and restoration to take place. Rebuilding trust is also a vital part of reconciliation. Trust is the foundation of a healthy relationship, and when it's been damaged, it takes time, consistency, and transparency to rebuild it. It means keeping your commitments, being honest and transparent, and demonstrating trustworthy behavior over time. Remember, reconciliation is a journey, not a one-time event. It requires effort, patience, and a genuine desire to restore the relationship. Through the process of reconciliation, both of you can experience growth, transformation, and a renewed sense of love and connection. It's a journey that involves humility, forgiveness, effective communication, and a commitment to working through challenges together. By embracing reconciliation, your relationship can find healing, restoration, and the potential for a stronger and more resilient bond. It's no secret that effective communication is the lifeblood of any healthy relationship. It's what allows you and your partner to understand each other, express your thoughts and feelings, and find common ground. So, when things aren't going well, it's crucial to prioritize open and honest communication. Create a safe space where both of you can speak openly without judgment or fear of retaliation. It's about actively listening to each other, not just waiting for your turn to speak, but genuinely hearing what your partner has to say. When you communicate openly and honestly, it means being willing to share your thoughts and emotions respectfully. It's about expressing yourself with clarity and transparency, so your partner can truly understand where you're coming from. Remember, communication is a two-way street, so it's equally important to give your partner the space to express themselves as well. You might be surprised at how much can be resolved simply by having an open and honest conversation. It's a chance to address any underlying issues that might be causing the disconnect in your relationship. By bringing these concerns to light, you can work together to find solutions and move forward. Open and honest communication can be challenging, but the rewards are worth it. When your relationship feels off, don't shy away from open and honest communication. Embrace it as an opportunity to connect, understand each other better, and find resolutions. It's through open dialogue that you can navigate the challenges together and create a relationship built on trust, respect, and love. As believers, we have the incredible privilege of having the Holy Spirit as our guide, comforter, and helper. When things aren't going well in your relationship, inviting the Holy Spirit into the midst of it can bring wisdom, discernment, and a sense of peace. Think of the Holy Spirit as a divine counselor who knows the inner workings of your relationship better than anyone else. By involving the Holy Spirit, you open yourselves up to His guidance and direction. 
Prayer is a powerful way to involve the Holy Spirit in your relationship. Take time together as a couple to pray. Seek God's guidance and surrender your relationship into His hands. As you pray, be attentive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. He may lead you to specific scriptures that offer guidance and encouragement. He may bring to light areas in your relationship that need attention or healing. He may also reveal areas where you need to repent, ask for forgiveness, or make changes in your attitudes or behaviors. Pay attention to the whispers of the Holy Spirit for He speaks in gentle nudges and impressions. Remember, involving the Holy Spirit is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. It's about developing a relationship with Him, seeking His presence daily, and being sensitive to His leading. Therefore, when your relationship feels off, don't underestimate the power of involving the Holy Spirit. Seek His presence, invite His guidance, and trust in His ability to bring restoration. With the Holy Spirit as your companion, you can experience a deeper level of connection, healing, and growth in your relationship. There are times when the challenges we face in our relationships require the wisdom and perspective of others who have walked a similar path or possess a deep understanding of God's principles for healthy relationships. Seeking godly counsel means reaching out to someone who is spiritually mature, wise, and trustworthy. This could be a pastor, a mentor, a trusted friend, or a professional Christian counselor. These individuals can provide valuable insights, guidance, and support as you navigate the difficulties in your relationship. Sometimes we become so immersed in our own emotions and perspectives that we lose sight of the bigger picture. Having a godly counselor allows for an objective viewpoint and an outside voice of wisdom. They can help you gain clarity, identify underlying issues, and offer practical advice on how to restore and strengthen your relationship. It's important to approach seeking counsel with humility and an open heart. Be willing to listen and receive feedback, even if it may be challenging or uncomfortable. Remember, the purpose of seeking counsel is not to find someone who will simply agree with your perspective, but to gain insights that can lead to growth and restoration. Keep in mind that seeking counsel doesn't imply that there is something fundamentally wrong with your relationship. It is a proactive step towards seeking guidance and support to overcome the challenges you're facing. Just as iron sharpens iron, seeking godly counsel can sharpen and strengthen your relationship. If your relationship feels off, don't hesitate to reach out for godly counsel. Surround yourself with wise and spiritually mature individuals who can provide guidance, prayer, and encouragement. Through their insights and the work of the Holy Spirit, you can find the support and direction you need to restore and nurture your relationship. Prayer is one thing to do when your relationship feels off that can bring change and restoration. You should understand that life is spiritual. This is the first and foremost understanding that every human should have. You will do yourself great harm when you think that everything that is on this earth is just materialistic and there are no forces that are controlling the earth. That is a great deception on your part. The world is controlled by spiritual forces and infrastructures that if you do not know how to master and make use of prayer, you will suffer. God is real and He's the sovereign ruler of the earth. However, some spirits that are not of God have been sent on earth to do a lot of destruction in the lives of people. There are unclean spirits, there are wicked spirits, and there are evil spirits who are sent by the devil to break relationships and cause chaos in society. These spirits do not want you to have a peaceful relationship so many times when things are not happening the way they should be. It might not be because someone is not loving as they should, 
or someone is not relating or communicating the way they should. Sometimes, it is a demon spirit that is sitting over that relationship and whispering to both partners to think evil thoughts against their partner that makes them always find an excuse to break up and part ways. This is why you should pray because prayer is what changes things. Prayer is what produces the power to break every backbone of demonic infrastructure that has been set over and against your relationship. 